cat people, how are you today? I am Cat Lady and Honey and I have created this makeup look because today I'm doing a collaboration with another YouTuber, Sonny's! Alright, today I'm planning to start kinda differently and instead of primer potion, I'm planning to start with this. This is Color Fix series from Danessa Myricks and this specific shade, it is called Beaches and I can understand this because it has the color of the sea, it's so beautiful and the reason that I'm using this is because I would like the blue colors to pop a little bit more. I'm gonna apply an amount on my hand and I'm gonna use a brush to apply it here and there where it's gonna be my basic shape. What brush am I gonna use? It's another very good question. I'm not very sure right now. Okay, I'm gonna go with this one. This is from Morphe. This is from a set because I would like to be quite precise do what I'm doing right here. I don't want a lot of color everywhere, just I want to kind of set my boundaries, my limits, everything. Yeah, I think it's so beautiful the way it is. And I love this series with color fix. I feel that they're working perfectly as a primer, as eyeshadows themselves, they're just great. I am quite happy with the base that I have created and now I'm gonna take this palette right here this is called the blue one from With Love Cosmetics it's a palette that I haven't used that much in the past and when it comes to the darker shades of blue it's gonna be the first time that I'm trying them I don't know how clever it is to try them in a tutorial but we will see and we will be able to fix anything together here if you see this palette it contains six glitters and personally if you want my opinion this is a good thing because I love glitters and to me, yes, I get it, it's way cheaper if you build a palette with glitters and stuff like that, but I don't mind, they're just beautiful. Unfortunately, in this palette you cannot find any shade names, but it's fine because I'm gonna use the mattes for today's look and I'm gonna go with this one, the darkest blue, with a quite small brush. This is from BH Cosmetics, it has an angle and I think that this brush will help me a lot with what I have in my head today. I'm gonna go here where I have the lightest blue and I'm gonna go at the edge like I'm trying to create an eyeliner. At this point I know that I need a lot of blending. I know that I don't have the symmetry right now but don't worry I'm fully aware about it and I'm about to start blending it and fixing it and bringing everything together basically. While I'm doing the blending let me tell you some things about Sunny's actually. I met her through YouTube and I'm extremely happy that I got this opportunity and in general I'm so so happy when I'm meeting new sweet kind people through through YouTube and Sunny's is no exception here. I mean, she is so kind every time that we are discussing. I feel so, so happy because she is expressing her opinions in such a way which is absolutely amazing. She always tries to say nice things, to make me feel good about what I'm doing. She's so supportive. And the best thing is that when we have some, no disagreements, I would say, some different opinions, she is always very, very kind with the way that she's expressing herself. And it's something that I highly appreciate because nowadays, let's be honest, not a lot of people are doing this and I don't take it for granted that much. And when I find people that are actually kind, and nice to me it's something amazing now when it comes to what she's doing at youtube she's doing a lot of goth stuff which i really really like like i have a goth side and i have a pastel side so i would describe myself as a pastel goth in general sometimes you see one side sometimes you see the other so i highly appreciate when she's doing like goth makeup looks goth hauls and stuff like that it's great it's so inspiring and she's giving me a lot of ideas with the stuff that she's doing. Also, she has a way of speaking that makes me calm down every time. Like, no matter how stressed I am, when I hear her voice and when I feel her energy and the way she's presenting stuff, I'm always feeling better and I'm feeling happier. So 
So don't forget to go and check her channel after you finish with this video because I can guarantee that you're gonna have a great time there. And we are at this stage right now. Still not perfect, but it's getting there. Can you see it? Now my goal is to take a lighter blue like this one right here, maybe even a pastel from another palette, we will see, and blend it a little bit more, but without touching this area because I would like it to be dark blue and bold. Also, a thing that I forgot to mention here is that when I blended this, of course I lost some of the intensity, some of the depth of the darkest blue, so of course I went back to this color and a little bit I pressed it only at the edges, because then if I pressed it everywhere, I need to do the whole procedure again and again, and I, of course I don't want that. Sunny's idea was to include a lot of glitter in this look, and it's blue, it has glitter, like it could not be more perfect for me. I'm extremely happy with this concept, with this look, with everything. Now I'm gonna use from Danessa Myricks again the color fix in the shade Glacier, and with this I'm gonna go right here in the center in order to use it as a primer again because I'm planning to start adding a lot of shine and shimmers and then I will add extra glitter. Of course I'm gonna be extra with this look but I would like to have something like a primer without being a primer and I think that this is the best for this. Also I'm planning to highlight a little bit under the eyebrow without removing the blue though because the blue it's a very important element of this look and I don't want to lose it. I'm gonna take this brush, this is from Beauty Bay, the BB209 and I'm gonna go just in the middle. It's a little bit difficult for me because I have hooded eyes so this look is the best I can do but with this look I would like to tell you also that you can create such looks even if you have hooded eyes. Only the sky is the limit and of course your creativity can go everywhere you want it to go so don't think that there are looks that are not for you if you try enough if you find the tricks you can do everything that your heart desires did you think that I was planning to leave it as it is? No, 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 no. We are about to be extremely extra today. I'm gonna take the collaboration palette between Glam Light and Frost Flakes. And from this palette, I'm gonna take the eyeshadow, which is called Milk, a very nice shimmer. And I'm gonna press it on top of the glitter primer that I have used, or not glitter primer, the color fix, which can be used as a primer, but it's not marketed as primer. It's very nice as primer as well. I can do it with my finger, but I prefer to do it with a wet brush. I think I'm gonna have a better precision this way. So I'm taking this Morphe brush, I'm taking an amount and then I'm gonna spray it a little bit with Revolution and Cookies and Cream setting spray. It's not a great spray, but just to spray my brushes and make the shimmer pop out a little bit more, it's perfect. And I'm going back here to the middle of my eye oh, look at it it's so beautiful and now it's time to have some fun some real fun with this makeup look because now i'm ready to start applying my glitters as you can see i have three different types of glitter and i'm gonna show them all to you in order to understand where this look is going so let me show you what i'm planning to use first of all i have this which i'm personally calling like the mermaid scale as you can see it's the biggest glitter that i have today and it's very nice and light blue. Secondly, I have this, which is fairly smaller than the previous one, but it's still not very fine, it's darker, it's gonna create a very cool effect, but my personal favorite is this one right here. This one specifically is coming from Popping Glow and let me show it to you. I mean, it has a very difficult packaging, this diamond shape packaging. I really have issues with it, but it's so beautiful because it contains dark blue and silver glitter. And I mean, I'm dying. Let me try to remove the lid 
and show it in this way to you. I don't want to create a mess. Woo! Nice. I hope that you saw it because it, it has already started falling and I don't want this. I don't want more glitter on this desk. I already have a lot of it and it's gonna be extremely difficult to clear all my brushes if I have an accident. Now, what I'm planning to use is the Fix Potion from Carla Cosmetics instead of Lash Glue because I feel that the other one is easier and it's working equally perfect. So, a layer of Fix Potion and then I'm gonna start applying the glitters by starting from the bigger one and ending up to the smaller and the finest. As you can see, I have finished with my glitter application and next step is do the bottom part of the eyes. First of all, I'm gonna start with this eye pencil which is called Midnight. It's from NYX Professional Makeup for Black Series. And then I'm gonna go back to the blue palette and I'm gonna use first the darker shade of blue, this one right here. And I'm gonna smoke it out in the lightest, this one, in order to create kind of the same ombre effect. And I will try to apply some of the glittery primer base, the color fix from Danessa Myricks, just in the center to enhance this halo eye effect that I have created right now. Let's start from the pencil and I think it's gonna be a little bit more difficult than in general because I have already applied my false lashes. I wanted to see how they're gonna work with glitter so I felt that it's a good idea and yes indeed it was because there, I applied some glitter on this part of my eyelid and not only on the wing part. So I felt that this was not very necessary, that's why I didn't do it at the other eye. And it's not that obvious if you see it from uh, the angle that I see it. So I think it's a good decision to apply the lashes. I think that you can guess what I'm about to do right now. I'm gonna turn off the camera, I'm gonna finish with my face, make up the boring part of the video, and then I will come back to show you my final look and share some last thoughts before I end this video. Are you ready to fix the lips? For today, I decided to use three products and hopefully I will be able to blend some of them. First of all, I'm going to use the same pencil that I used for my eyes. Again, NYX Professional Makeup in the shade Midnight. Then I'm gonna take this mini from Jeffree Star. It is called... Oh my god, it's so difficult to find how it is called. Ah, Titanic. It's not that difficult in the end. I know I have said it's not working, it's still not working, but I have found some magic and I hope that this time my magic will work and I will have a kind of decent result. And on top, I'm gonna use another brand that I love so, so much. It is called V Cosmetics, UK indie brand. And I'm gonna use this one right here. I think that this is discontinued. It doesn't have a specific name and all I can find on the packaging is this unicorn goo name. I I think Unicorn Goo was the series and not the name of this lipstick, but it doesn't really matter since you cannot find it nowadays. It's a very, very beautiful silver and hopefully the combination of these two will be something beautiful. And now it's time for the Greek word of the day. Well, thinking about Sunnies as a person, and if I had to describe her personality in one word, the first word that I would think is the word kind. So that's why I decided to tell you the Greek word for kind. So I'm gonna tell you how we say kind for girls or female existences, because we have three genders and I don't want to confuse you with a lot of grammar here. But anyway, for her, I would use the word Evgeniki. Say with me. Ev, ye, ni, ki. Evgeniki. As always, I'm gonna ask you to try to write a comment down below using the word Evgeniki or tell me the word in your own native language. Sunnis usually tells me the word in Swedish, which I really, really love. Thank you so, so much for this. Before I end this video, I would like to share some final thoughts with you guys. First of all, I would like to mention how happy I am with this collab. I mean, with Sunnis, we are friends, we are talking every day 
way she is such a sweet person and I know that like trust me I know her and I'm saying what I'm saying because we have talked a lot a lot with her to me doing collabs it's such a great opportunity to show that we have a community here on YouTube to show how many other people love makeup here on YouTube and even by having the same concept how different looks we can create I'm so so happy for what happened today from the colors to the person that I collabed with the whole energy the vibe everything is great and of course again don't forget to watch Sunny's videos I'm so curious to see what she has created don't forget to subscribe to her don't forget to give her some love because she really deserves it and that was it this was our video for today thank you so so much for being here with me today thank you so much Sunny's for giving me this amazing opportunity to collaborate with you if you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe don't forget to follow me on instagram and on tiktok everywhere my name is cat lady antigoni and i will be very very happy to see you there again thank you so much see you next time and until then bye bye